Just four days now, it is decision day for many Michigan voters. It's an off-year election, but there are plenty of races to watch on Tuesday. Local government candidates, tax millages, school board seats and judgeships, races that will directly impact communities. So tonight we are focusing on the city of Pontiac. Tim Grimal and Alexandria Riley, both vying for the job of mayor, 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead explains their plans to tackle rising crime in the city. With an election only days away, concerns about crime are a top priority for candidates for mayor here in Pontiac. And today, a parent who did not want to be identified talking about her concerns here outside Pontiac High School. I watch like a possible drug deals happen every day on the corner over there when I drop my child off to school. Um, I'm concerned that my son has to go through a metal detector every day. She's a parent who's grown tired of seeing deputies called to her son's high school in a city that's seen a recent rise in shootings. The topic of gun violence, a key issue in the upcoming election. It's typically uh, related to gang activity or drug transactions uh, between family members, acquaintances. Former state lawmaker Tim Grimal was a top vote getter in the primary and supports the work of the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, who reached a deal more than a decade ago to provide services when Pontiac police closed their doors. And they have brought down crime overall. But Grimal also wants to fund better solutions for the community. We have a, a growing economy here in Pontiac. We need to use some of that additional tax revenue that's coming in to invest more in crime prevention on the front end. Another candidate, Alexandria T. Riley, sees a shortage of youth activities as a problem she would help turn around. We used to have four community centers, three boys and girls clubs, summer youth. Her plans also involve support of law enforcement and enlist uh, nonprofit support to support uh, the Oakland County Sheriff Department uh, with resources to promote community policing in addition to having opportunities. Riley, with a background in community development and a lifelong resident of Pontiac, is the second highest vote getter so far. A third write in candidate, Wanda Denise Coates, also vocal on the issue. Bring unity in the community. People are working. If the young men and young ladies and whoever they are that are committing a crime, if they're working, they won't commit the crime. And also, we got to have fairness in the judicial system. Candidates agree that engaging with the community must be part of the solution to bring down crime here in the city of Pontiac. Certainly, they'll continue discussing this in the days leading up to the election. From Pontiac, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon.